Traditionally, oral history are narratives that provide details to people's, people's lives and stories where means to record such accounts were scarcer than today. Indeed, historians have used the approach for decades as a means of recording participants' views of historical events. In this lecture, we will consider the elements of oral history and its uses. The primary research tool for an oral history is the interview. One or more indiv individuals must sit down to record a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone else. Oral history is also how families pass stories from one generation to another. In the research context, researchers use oral history interviews to capture narratives, similar to the narrative tradition of family history. It helps to conduct background research prior to conducting actual oral history interviews. By gathering background information, it helps researchers to know the interviewees and to prepare insightful questions to ask their interviewees. The best oral history interviews comprise multiple monologues where the interviewee records memories and provides rich details to the event's experiences. Researchers must be prepared to record those accounts because interviewees may not be able to repeat what they had just shared in as much enthusiasm and detail. Thus, researchers should have their recording devices prepared and ready to capture those stories. In terms of technical preparations, the textbook talks about tape recorders. You probably are familiar with audio and video recording apps. Having reliable and high quality microphones and batteries are recommendations that still hold true today. A successful oral history often involves a series of interviews. The participant will rarely recall all of the key details of a story. However, that initial interview should be the most productive of all the interviews that might be conducted. The interviewer should use an outline of questions that were prepared in advance. Each interview will have to have a progression of questions designed for that particular person preferably with the questions arranged by keyword topics. Additionally, the success of the oral history interview often hinges on the trust that is developed during the interactions between the, the interviewer and interviewee. The interviewer should chat, chat with the interviewee while setting up the recording equipment and getting prepared for the interview. This offers an opportunity to establish some rapport before the questioning begins. Transcription is perhaps the single most time-consuming aspect of oral history research. While some researchers transcribe entire interviews, other researchers only transcribe parts of any one interview. Because memories can be faulty, the researcher has the responsibility to verify as much of the information obtained in the interview as possible. Discrepancies can become a topic for subsequent interviews, as the interviewer and interviewee work together to form a coherent account of the person's life. This process of probing is called reality monitoring. Reality monitoring works under the assumption that memories for real experiences are richer in sensory details and with contextual attributes that are memories than are memories for imagined events. The process of interview, research, and more interviews is repeated as often as necessary. The collection of interviews that comprise the oral history of any one individual will be a hodgepodge of stories that ramble in no particular sequential order. The easiest way to do this editing is to order all topics by chronological, spatial, or topical sequence. The narrative is edited further to ensure that the story is a coherent one 
all the time taking care to tell the story in the words of the interviewee rather than the interviewer. While oral history is used in academic research, you may find oral history relevant because it is a way of recording the stories that have transpired in your family's history. It can be a very valuable and satisfying experience to capture stories that are meaningful to your family. By doing so, you can pass those narratives on to future generations. The chapter provides nine suggested topics to organize their interviews if you would like to embark on the adventure of recording your family's oral history. Having discussed the advantages of conducting oral history, a major disadvantage of oral history interviews is that memories can be faulty and unreliable. People can miss details or add inaccurate details to their accounts. Another issue is confidentiality because stories naturally include details about people. Despite the disadvantages, oral history is a great way to learn about one's family and the stories that link one generation to another.